time. I usually have about three or four hours a day. And you have a yeah. warm-up routine as well. So please leak the warm-up yeah. routine, please. Every hit scan player I know so, is obsessive about it. So, <laughs> so what do you do? Um, I started this this current routine that I have like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I have like a Kovex playlist that's like an hour long. And I do that. Um, and then I get on Overwatch. And then like I go on like the training range. And I just kind of mess around with the characters that I play just to actually feel for the game. Mm -hmm. And then... How um, long are you in the training range? like five minutes and God. then i go and it's like a custom game that's like an android and custom game it's like can you leave the code um it's like the vaxta one vaxta i think is what it is vaxta yeah, one or vaxta or like vaxta but i just said like vaxta. Gotcha. oh gotcha gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, yeah, okay yeah, yeah. oh the vaxta, vaxta. Gotcha, gotcha. okay yeah. so vaxta all righty and then how long are you um, in vaxta uh like 10 15 minutes okay. and then i press q and then i usually go into what a headshot while i'm in q and okay. then I get a game eventually. All right. Well, here's the good news. Well, let's actually st let's start let's start with this question, okay? Do you have you noticed improvements in your aim since doing this playlist? I mean, it's only been two weeks. But have you noticed? Yeah. Um. I don't want to say no, but also don't want to say yes. I think I'm just like more confident in like how I aim, or not how I aim, but when like you know I'm playing the game, I'm more confident in my aim in general. Yeah. I feel like. That is helped me a lot. Right. Okay. So let, let's 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 offer some advice because I think what you're doing is you're putting an unbelievable amount of effort into your warm up and your aim training routine, which is excellent. Yeah. That's awesome, especially for an, a hero that requires obviously a lot of aim. Yeah. But if I there are a couple of low hanging fruit that you can make adjustments with. Now, to be very clear, one of the un underrated i guess benefits of having your own aim training routine is the confidence and getting yourself warmed up mentally and doing something that you enjoy so yeah. what i'm not going to do is say oh you need to completely change this and completely change that or that's not optimal if it's something that you're comfortable doing and you enjoy doing there's benefits from that right um yeah. so i'm going to be honest with you having an hour-long kovacs playlist is probably not going to be helping your aim that significantly much um but if that's something that you really, really enjoy doing, then I'm not going to tell you to just not play Kovacs. I might say, okay. is there a way that you can cut down on that time to use it a little bit more efficiently? Is there a certain aspects or certain training modes on the playlist that you find you get the most benefit from or you enjoy the most? Focus on those. Um, mm -hmm. But I think that you can be more efficient with your time there. That's number one. Number okay. two, I would cut out the training range entirely. If you could be spending that five minutes even in a random arcade deathmatch uh, or more time in a workshop code or more time in a try hard deathmatch mode or anything like that, that's going to be yeah. bigger return investment than practice range. So again, low hanging fruit there. Next thing I'm gonna okay. point out is what do you see as being a potential problem with Vaxta? What do you see? Look at my screen. Wait, what's, what's good and what's bad about this, okay? What's good? Um, what's good is I'm like shooting at actual character models, right. I guess. Exactly, exactly. Okay. And then what else is good? Is, or what um for good, I guess it's just like I don't know, like I'm filling out the character when I actually get on, I guess. Sure, exactly. You get to play the character that you're on, they're moving around, you got a little lot yeah. of different hitboxes to practice shooting versus as well. Yeah. And the movement I give say to credit, this this is pretty good movement, right? Like this looks pretty decent, yeah. especially when you crank it up to hard. Okay. So what's bad about this? I guess it's not like representative of like what would actually happen in a game when I'm shooting at someone. Right, right. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of pressure on you, right? Yeah. There's no stress. There's no cooldowns. There's no actual threat of death. So you're not really yeah. practicing duels. Okay. What's the other problem with this? And this is something I've said a few times in the stream, but it's it's worth mentioning. What else is the problem? Um, Let me look 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 at where I'm at, at right now. Like, uh, like not on a real map, I guess. I'm right, really sure. right, right. Do you know how? aiming works like this right i mean you should right this is this is yeah. horizontal aim yeah this is vertical aim i'm gonna yeah. ask you the question what's the problem with this <laughs> so there's no like actual like changes in like terrain right or, like, angles or right anything like that. my only vertical Just aim is on box. a very slow moving Farah. right this is yeah. this is this is the only thing i do maybe a little bit of genji i think sometimes they have an echo as well i don't remember to be honest with you but there's no yeah. aim, very little aiming up okay and there's yeah. there's really no aiming down at all yeah, um it's a grapple shot right exactly so i have to like find a way to aim down like this so this is my problem with vaxta i think it's an excellent aiming code but it has its weaknesses okay yeah. it provides a lot of repetition 
and a lot of different movement speeds, which is excellent, but it's got its shortcomings. So what I would like you to try and do is I would like you to, I would, well, not, let's, let's not say this. I would like you to experiment with cutting out practice range, shifting a little bit of your time away from Kovacs, and throwing that into maybe a deathmatch mode. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit less Vaxta. I think Vaxta is probably okay. Maybe a little bit less Kovax, no Tractus range, and try throwing a deathmatch. So what you'd have is you have Kovax, which is rapid over and over and over and over and over again, plus giving you immediate feedback, hit scan practice, yeah. right? But it doesn't feel yeah. anything like Overwatch. Then you've yeah. got your workshop codes, which are again, rapid, 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 not as rapid as Kovax, maybe not as entertaining, not as score oriented, but feels mm -hmm. a little bit more realistic like Overwatch, but there's no threat yeah. of death. Okay, and then you have the complete opposite end of the spectrum from Kovax, which is actually going in deathmatch, where the engagements aren't super rapid. They're rapid enough, but they're not super rapid, but there's an actual death threat. There's verticality, there's aiming up, there's aiming down, there, there's actually dueling versus real people. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. it's a spectrum, and I think aim training can be done in a spectrum to kind of warm up in different aspects. And I want you to, to toy with that and see what feels good and what you enjoy. Um, maybe you're like, I really hate deathmatch. Maybe I'll just do more Vaxta and less Kovax, right? Maybe you're like, I actually really like well, deathmatch, right? Instead of deathmatch, would I do what a headshot in Q, so would that be better? Okay, well, again, what 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 are the strengths and weaknesses of, of Widow headshot? <laughs> yeah, I'm only shooting at Widow. Only shooting Instead at Widow. What's another weakness under. about that? Um, I guess like a lot of. Like a widow's kind of stand still. Wow. Sure. Well. But what's the title of the, the, the <laughs> or headshot only, headshot yeah. only, right? Now obviously yeah. you're gonna be aiming for headshots nine times out of ten, but not always. Not always. Yeah. You get you get negative feedback for hitting a shot sometimes, which is not what you want to happen. Yeah. Um so again, that is not a bad mode to train at necessarily, but it would be a bad mode to rely off of exclusively. So yeah. I think you already have a little bit of a variety with your training, which I, I think is awesome. But I think the variety could be of a higher quality. And also I think you're spending a lot of time. What is it? This is almost like an hour and a half, really. Um, yeah. And I think that could be used either more efficiently or if you are going to spend an hour and a half, you can get more quality out of it. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any questions? Uh, no. Now, again, what I did say is uh, find what works for you. I don't want to tell you exactly what you should be doing and this is the only way to do it because I don't know the answer to that. You don't know the answer yeah. to that. And I would also like to, you to be leaning on the side of what's more comfortable for you than what's technically the best. Um, there's, there's, like science, there's like studies out there. Like th You could have the world's best doctor, but if he's a real jerk and a jackass, he actually doesn't yeah. get, help people get well as much as a doctor <laughs> who's maybe not quite as good, but who pe makes people more comfortable. So w whatever works yeah. for you, works for you, but I'm going to tell you if it is actively bad. Uh